Welcome to the pious city of Leipzig, Master Bach. I take it you had a pleasant journey? Yes, we had. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. You have already met Mr. Ernesti, haven't you? Rector of the St. Thomas Institute? He will be your direct supervisor. I have indeed, Mr. Mayor. I'm delighted to see you again, Mr. Ernesti. Likewise, Master Buck. I look forward to working with you. Allow me to present Reverend Daling, the most wise vicar of the St. Thomas Church. It's an honour, Reverend. Master Buck. And this is Master Gurner, organist at the church. He will assist you with your duties. I've already had the privilege of hearing you play during my last visit, Master. You have an extraordinary gift. Thank you, Master. A compliment from such a revered master of the arts is more than I could ever wish for. I shall now leave you in the capable hands of Mr. Ernesti, who will show you to your lodgings. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. This way, Master Buck. Your residence comprises the three floors on the left-hand side of the St. Thomas School. There's mold everywhere. This place is a dump. It's a bit different from what I expected. We celebrate modesty in our city. Yes, of course, but modesty doesn't exclude a comfortable place for a family to live in. How do you expect our orphans to embrace the humble ways of Christ if their teacher dwells in luxury? You may have been accustomed to extravagance in your previous assignment, and we accept that you require some time to adjust to this new environment. However, I remind you that henceforth your aim is to be an example to our less fortunate boys. Quite right, Reverend. Retinence, discipline, and an unfaltering devotion to the Lord. That's what we expect of you here. I'll introduce you to our boys. They dwell in the attic. Oh my God. There's 55 of them. You'll read them the scripture daily and give them a basic understanding of Latin and Greek. Moreover, you will establish four choirs with them, one for each of the city's main churches, while they will sing at Sunday Mass. So this is what I left my career for? Our beautiful house! We agree that this was best for our children and for our future. No, <laughs> no, you agreed that this was best. I never agreed to anything. We decided to move to Leipzig together. Don't you remember? As if I had any say in the matter. We shall make the best of it. In the end, it won't be so bad. Not so bad? It can hardly get any worse. The boys have gone to bed. What do you say, Dotty? Are you going to be happy here? Don't pretend you care about me. Dorothea! Show your father some respect! Leave her be! Can't you see how troubled she is? That doesn't give her the right to address her father so ill-mannered! As if you have treated her fairly of late! Enough! Also, you should learn your place!
Good morning, Master. Here are the lyrics for next Sunday's cantata. Heart and mouth and deed and life? Yes. It's an elaboration of Luke 139. I bid you good day, Master. This is terrible. Then write a terrible cantata. They're going to love it here. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My name is Bach, Kapellmeister at the Court of Curtin, and I've been assigned to the post of Cantor at this institute. Henceforth, I shall be your teacher, and we're also going to make some music together. All right, all right. You, sing the chord of C major, please. La, 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 la. Good. Very good. You'll be in the choir of the St. Thomas Church. You, please. La, 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 la. Oh, dear. Uh, you'll sing in the new church. <laughs> Next. Heart and mouth and deed and life. Nihil ne te nocturnum praesidium palati, nihil urbis vigiliae, nihil timor populi, Nihil concursus bonorum omnium, nihil hic munitissimus habendi senatus locus. Jesu bleibet meine Freude. If you start with the strings, then Fried can copy the woodwinds, and I'll copy the scores for the choir. Don't overdo it. You are grateful to have Jesus by your side, but you don't need to shout it off the rooftop cider. Okay. Whoa, squid down them. A buttere catilina patientia nostra? Can you translate what you've just read? How long, Catalina, will you still be abusing our patience? Good. Now, who was this Catalina chap? Yes, you. It was a rebel who wanted to become dictator, master. Exactly. Now imagine, you are Cicero. The Senate is crowded with Catalina's men, ready to take out their knives and kill you. And all you have is the power of your words. The future of Rome lies in your hands, but you're not afraid. 
You lash out at Catalina and let him have it. Read the line again. Quousque tandem abutere Catalina patientia nostra. There you go. That's it. Now you, second line. Quam duetiam furor iste tuus nos eludet? Bravo! A blow to the head. Now you. His methods are highly unusual. I don't like it for a bit, but don't worry, I can't wait to see them make fools of themselves when they have to perform the cantata tomorrow.